welcome back again to another further tutorial and in this session we will be discussing about how to make use of HTTP request in Flutter so we will be making use of a public API URL from which we will be getting the contents from the API that is the JSON data displaying them in the UI screens so we have a simple button over here which states get data whenever you click this data you can see that the data is being fetched and it is just shown up in the UI screen so the the JSON data what we will be having or what we will be receiving as a request is uh, a set of list so there are actually 10 items in this JSON list and uh, each containing the name, username, email id, address and etc we will be just making use of the name, username, email id and jo just showing them in the list style okay so the concept is very simple we will be making use of a HTTP request and getting the data from the external API which in turn returns a list of JSON bundle and we will be just decoding them and getting the custom data what we want to have ok so let's get started with the coding part first we need to add this package which is HTTP and go for the latest version as for the video recording date this is the latest version and after adding this package uh, starting in the main data file the home points to my home page and inside this my home page we have a simple UI which contains a get data button and a simple uh, container so this container will be just converted into a list to be builder in the later part of the video so just don't worry about that and what we need to do is whenever we just click this button we need to make a connection with the API and get the data so for that first let us create a demo model class and this, this is the demo model class which we will be having and it contains the name username and email id actually the json the written json will be containing a bunch of data uh, including address latitude longitude etc but we don't need to display them we just need to uh, extract certain piece of information that is the name username and email in our case and display them along in the ui screen so i have just defined a demo model class which decodes that three data alone okay and after creating the demo model class we have to make connection with the api request that is this is the function which makes a connection with the api call um, the connection will be like a get method and inside this get method you need to pass in the api url okay so um, just pass in the api url this is the base url and the endpoint is users in our case and i will be checking for the status code as 200 if it is access one then i will be just uh, mapping the individual components in this list of the JSON data to the demo model class, right? So we have just defined the demo model class as well as the API. What we need to do is go for the UI stuff and inside this on press event of the button, we just need to call the fetch data. And before that, we just need to define the future instance of the demo model class, which is And see this on press even let us just call the fetch data function and assign this value to the future model right we have just uh, made a api call but what we need to do is to display the content we need to uh, create a list view builder right so um, let us just have the list view builder over here Once we have this container, let us just provide a future builder which in turn will return a list view builder, right? And we have just checked for certain condition which is this snapshot.hash data. Then we will be returning a list view builder. So this is a custom function which in turn returns a list view builder. I will be just discussing them shortly. And similarly, we fill the snapshot.hash error, then we will be simply displaying the error text and likewise if the connection is in waiting state then we will be displaying the corresponding message for the user and let's go for the build snapshot data function and it is a list view builder and to access the individual uh, members that is the individual items in the json data we will be making use of the index which is snapshot.data of index by using this index we will be able to get the particular data from the list of 10 items and to access the name we will be making some dot name and username and dot email id okay so with this we will be able to fetch the corresponding 
three items from the JSON data and display them in the UI. So let's see how it works. Now let me click this button. The connection is in waiting state. Yeah, we got the data up here. So we got the name, username, and the email ID, right? A list of 10 data which is just displayed in the list view builder in a list type fashion. Okay, so well, that's it, guys. That's how you just decode the JSON bundle and display the contents of the JSON in the UI screens. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do so, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.